Hi friends, this is Miss Sarah from the Barberton Public Library and I just wanted to get on and give a quick tutorial on how to use the PDF and the links that I have put up on the Barberton Public Library's website so that you can participate in an online version of our Kids Code program. So I don't know if you remember, but the last time that we met was all the way back in March and we did some drop block coding and used Angry Birds to learn some basic programming skills. If you're interested in going back and reviewing some of the things that we did in March, you can click on this first link right here and it will take you to the code doc or classic maze tutorial. So I'll go ahead and let that load up here. There are videos that go along with this tutorial. You can watch them again if you would like to, but if you would like to just explore and go through the steps of the tutorial to refresh what we, what we did last month, you can go ahead and click the X and then just follow the steps through to create your own uh, classic maze using Angry Birds. So once you're ready to move on, I have another lesson down here at the bottom also using Angry Birds. This time I'm using a program called Tinker. And Tinker is a website that kids can uh, share projects, create projects, kind of like Scratch, but a little bit different. Um, so you can go ahead and click on this link here, and it's going to take you to this page that I have marked, which is the Angry Birds games and apps that are created by um, all the members of Tinker's community. So you can scroll down through and you can see all the different games that other creators have made. Um, kids, students, adults, anybody, they can create their own game or app. And this one is using the um, programming in Angry Birds. So I think you can click on up to five of them. You can click play and view the different games and see how they're set up. And if you like what you see, you can go ahead and take a tutorial so that you can learn how to create your own. If you go back to the PDF on the library's website, there's another link here that will take you through the Grumpy Cat tutorial. And don't worry, it's not just Grumpy Cat, it's also Angry Birds. So this link will take you to tinker.com and it's going to take you right to the tutorial and it'll load up. You won't have to sign in or anything to get through it. So this is what it looks like when you finally get in. It'll say Grumpy Cat right here, but it's using the same coding and physics involved in the Angry Birds, the classic Angry Birds game. So when you scroll down right here, you'll be able to see all the different concepts that they're gonna talk about, and you can click the next button whenever you're ready to move on. I highly recommend reading through everything because this is a little bit more of a difficult program than what we normally do. But I think you guys are up for the challenge. Once you've gone through the Angry Birds and Grumpy Cat tutorial, and you, if you feel like you'd like to try and build your own version of this game, you can go back to the PDF and scroll down to the second page where you can find a whole list of usernames and passwords for Tinker's website. So what you would do then is you can copy and paste the username and the password into tinker.com. So I'm just going to type in tinker.com and as you can see this is their main page you can click sign in up here at the top. Because you're a student you're going to go ahead and click on the student tab and it's going to give you a place that you can sign in. So I'm just going to copy and paste the username and the password from the document into their little boxes here and click enter. Once you click enter, it's going to take you to the main dashboard for that username. So try and use only one username because the things that you work on then will be saved under that username and you'll be able to log back in using it um, over and over again. If you're using a different username each time, you might end up in somebody else's uh, courses and we don't want to mess up each other's things. We want everyone to have their own space and their own place to be creative. So you can see here at the top is a big S and here's my name, S Massey, and here's 
Barberton Kids Code, Barberton Libraries Kid Code page. So there's a few different random courses up here at the top that you are, I, I really want you to explore, so feel free to go ahead and go through those if you would like. But down here at the bottom, if you're interested in the Angry Birds, you can go ahead and click on one of these ones and hit start, and you can remix the game and make it customized to whatever it is that you would like to, for the game to show. So there's a few different of the versions of it on here, so feel free to click through them. And like I said, because you're logged in under a username and password for BPL Kids Code, all of your information, um, uh, the creations for the games will be saved. And only I will have access to them or you if you log in using your username and password again. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know and I will try and share some of the things that I've seen you guys create maybe within the next week. When you're all done, go ahead and hit sign out and I hope I will get to see you again next week or in two weeks for Kids Code Online.